Hi, this is Umer from Visual Components. Um, today we are with Ecosphere and Efimad, so let's uh, talk to them about their business and Visual Components in general. So, uh, can you introduce yourself? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Vincent. Uh, I'm working as an area sales manager for Efimad in Germany, mainly. Uh, yeah, happy to be here. So, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Hi, my name is Alex Schiffer. Um, I'm the CEO of the Ecosphere and Logistics uh, GmbH in Germany. Um, we are the German integrator for the Efimat Automates solution that you can see in the background. Uh, we did all the programming and implementation for uh, the technical stuff. All right. All right. Um, and uh, if you think about um, um, visual components in general, what do you think about the tool? So, in general, I think uh, Visual Components is a very helpful uh, simulation and visualization tool uh, throughout the entire sales process. It doesn't, uh, it's, it's not limited um, in, in any particular um, area of your production, so you could simulate the entire production flow, which is becoming more and more important um, within a yeah, typical uh, dynamic um, production site, so it, it's, it's even it's becoming even more important that you look at the entire chain rather than just looking at a specific setup or section of it. And therefore, uh, it helps a lot um, yeah, confirming that you don't just uh, look at the effect and figures, the numbers, mm -hmm. then uh, actually showing um, the customer using the actual data um, how, they're, how, they're, how we could improve and help them in, uh, improving their business and, and increasing their productivity. And uh, Alexander, how about you? Uh, yeah, same thing. I think that the uh, Visual Components is an extremely powerful tool. Um, it helps a lot uh, to have uh, more than the, the traditional way of, of showing uh, processes in, on the paper uh, because calculations in some kind uh, have limitations and Visual Components does not have those limitations. So I can add another machine and another machine and I can let them interfere with each other. Um, which uh, would be very hard to calculate on a, on a sheet of paper or in, in Excel. And um, also it, it shows the customer, um, I mean previously in the past you have said a uh, picture shows more than a thousand words and uh, now it is a simulation from original components shows more than a thousand pictures. That is an amazing analogy. We, we will use it if, if it's okay. Um, so if you if we think about Efimat and Visual Components, how would you uh, how do they go together hand in hand in, in general sales acceleration process, for example? Um, I think it's I wouldn't limit um, Visual Components to just the Efimat. It's of course important or really great that you added the Efimat to your e-catalog in Visual Components, but uh, I think it's even as as important. Um, that you have such a, a broad variety of different products in, in the e-catalog. So you, you, you're basically in a very realistic simulation can, can uh, visualize the entire, uh, yeah, the entire production floor. Um, so uh, it, it, is, it is more and more uh, becoming more interesting and, and even um, yeah, more accurate uh, to, the, to the reality uh, rather than just uh, being something uh, to look at and think, oh yeah, that looks nice, but it's actually uh, very close to to how it will look like when it's being when it has been installed. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, if you think about now ecosphere and system integration part, how do you see visual components helping you out? Because every system integrator has a different way and use cases of using visual components. What are your typical use cases, and let's say, what how do you see the value of visual components in your business? Um, so first of all, if we're in a sales talk with uh, with customers, um, it's very easy to show them how it would lo it will look like. So uh, the the solution itself is um, it needs some words, to some some few words to explain it and how it works. Um, but with visual components, there are no open doubts. So uh, everything is explained, and um, there is I wouldn't say that there is any sales talk that I have now without having visual components open to just drag and drop it directly in. Um, I mean, previously we, we opened some PowerPoint slides and uh, draw some, some squares uh, to, to be on the same page, to talk about the, the same things. Um, now we open visual components and we just drag and drop the FEMAT and, and, and things. 
um, like a mobile robot, like uh, the, the UR, and, and, uh, and, and attach it directly to the to the visual components. Um, so the similar application, I've I've built that application that we can see here in the back. I've built that directly in visual components, and I open that every single time when we talk about Cena. And um, a second, uh, we, we we did some um, some visual component simulations as a service for a a startup which was a spin-off from the uni university. And um, they started to scale their production. And they asked us, hey, uh, we have that and that uh, process. We need to know uh, how much cycle time will we have to build up that uh, specific part, uh, that specific assembly. Um, how much machines do we need from those types to scale up to a certain uh, amount of, of uh, production that we aim to. And um, that was set up in, in a couple of, well, couple of weeks. Um, in visual components, and it was uh, it, there was no open dots, so uh, they know how, now uh, what what facility to look at uh, to purchase or to build up, how much space do they need, uh, how many of the uh, machines do they need, and how much money do they need to invest uh, in order to reach their uh, their um, goals. It's also a great tool to, to uh, in front of the customer. You could easily adjust the the, um, the process, right? So if the customer, for example, says you you ba uh, you based this simulation on a on a specific cycle time, or uh, an average operator would need X amount of seconds to to do a pick up from the EFIMAT, and then the customer is just asking you how how does it affect the process if you would change it or adjust that um, by I don't know uh, increasing an increasing number of seconds, and then you can see. Uh, immediately which impact it will have in, in your production uh, if you would adjust these different parameters. Very interesting and interesting to see both sides, you, your FEMAD and Ecosphere, how you use visual components in your business. How do you see the future of your business growing with, with these kind of tools? Not just visual components but in general simulation. Um, how does it help in growing in the business growth, for example? I think it, it will become, hopefully, easier um, but I think that's a very realistic assumption I mean uh, the the simulation tools will improve of course uh, year by year and it will be uh, even more realistic um, the, uh, and we will of course even get better at uh, using the tool ourselves so um, I think it, it will have a beneficial impact on the sales process in general and, and hopefully uh, help us selling more machines <laughs> Um, yeah, so the customers are asking more and more for digital twins and uh, we built them up for, for customers and uh, it's, it's just helping uh, the, the customers to have a clear picture of their growth, of their uh, investment strategy, um, what to do where and um, yeah, for the future, um, I think the processes can be shown that easy and uh, that realistic uh, so that customers um, are very convinced and um, easy to, it's easy to show them uh, how, it will, how their business will evolve then. And also uh, some customers ask themselves, okay, I, I want to have mobile robots in my, uh, running around in my plant, but how much of them? That, that's a, it's a main question, right? Is one enough? Is two enough? Is three something that I should invest in because it's, it's uh, giving me something to the process? And with visual components, you can just tear out those KPIs and uh, very easily tell the customer, okay, if you want to invest in another mobile robot, um, it's going to cost you X amount of money, and the return on invest will be this because of uh, production's uh, increase, efficiency increase, right? These are great insights, and I always love to hear these because every, cu oh, every customer of our that uses visual components has their unique way of using it and for their customers. So that's what, that was a great conversation. Thank you for your time, and uh, hopefully you'll have a great show, Automatica 2022. Any last words? Mm, just just thank us. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, it was a pleasure. So, uh, and I hope you also have a successful show. So thank you. Yeah, thank you also for having me. Um, last words, uh, I've been working with Visual Components now for approximately half a year. Um, once you get into it, it's really good and uh, also the support and, uh, and questions that we have, uh, we just put it into uh, either directly to the contact or uh, in, the, in the community and questions are answered and you are helped very quickly. Um, so support is very good and I'm looking forward to work uh, with Visual Components in the future very much.